Boom, boom, boom. Okay, social media is one of those things that everybody has. You see, my original thought was to be social media was originally supposed to connect us, you know, connect the world. And in some ways, that could be good, but <laughs> it, it has it. It's really, it's really a trap. Like, you hop on Instagram and you touch that explore page, it's a trap. <laughs> it takes a strong mind to get out of there. Because the thing is with the explore page, it's whatever. You could like one picture, right? One picture of something. Boom, it's going to pop up in your explore page. And you're just, the Instagram messing with your head, bro. <laughs> They're messing with your head. This is the same for TikTok. TikTok is like an advanced Instagram to the point where it's like, you watch a video. It does, I think it like, it doesn't even matter if you like it, right? You just have to watch it for like a good like, you know, two, three seconds. Something like that. And it will like keep recommending it to you. <laughs> it will keep recommending those type of videos. So if you see like a what, 13 year old shaking that ass, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna see more of that. And it's like, bro, what? <laughs> it's mind blowing. And the thing is, it works. It really gets you guys to just keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling to the point where it's, you know, 12 o'clock in the morning and it's like, oh, <laughs> the lights. <laughs> it's dark outside, isn't it? <laughs> By the way, um, since I'm getting into this point, if you haven't watched my last video on why you should delete social media, it is right. It's somewhere up here, you know. I'm kind of ambidextrous. <laughs> so it's up here, up here. It's, you know, you'll see it. Now, here's a big negative of social media. I think I, I talked about this in my uh, other video, but I didn't go in depth. Basically, it makes you compare yourself. You compare yourself to others a lot if you're on social media. You're comparing, and the thing is, is that it, it's kind of sad. <laughs> like, most of the people that you're comparing yourself to, you know, if you're not comparing yourself to your friends, which I'll get into that later, if you're comparing yourself to like these famous people, you know, some of them have fake lives, my guy. <laughs> some of them got fake lives. You know, some of them got, you know, a fake face, you know, fake abs, fake lips, fake butt. Those people couldn't handle their insecurities, right? Yo, I should make an insecurity video. <laughs> that would be nice. They couldn't handle those insecurities, right? So let that sink in. How, how are you gonna compare yourself to someone that couldn't handle their own insecurity to the point where they got plastic surgery on a body part. Enlightenment. <laughs> I'm not trying to like shame anybody or anything. You know, you just gotta be more mindful. <laughs> you gotta see this. The people that are on social media, that are out there, they got fake lives, my guy. They're Steve Rogers coming out that damn freaking, you know, that big ass pod, bro. You know what I'm saying? They're f it's fake. <laughs> it's fake. So I think a lot of people compare themselves to others when it's like, you know, you're comparing yourself to someone that couldn't handle their own insecurities to the point where they had to, you know, fake a body part or fake this or that. Like, bro, what? <laughs> and I'm not trying to, like, shame on you. I mean, like, hey, everyone has preferences. I don't really give a damn. The most people, the people usually saying, they're taking these selfies, you know, why do they look so good? Oh, what is this? It, it, you're comparing your pictures to their picture. To your, oh, fuck. You, if you take a picture, you're probably taking it on your phone, right? You know. Scroll a little filters, you know, that's fine. You know, sometimes some people don't use filters, which I respect sometimes, you know, but we're not talking about that. What I'm trying to say is, when you compare your picture to their picture, it's not no filter that they got on their phone, bruh. The filters that they be using, it's from a computer software that costs like $2,000. <laughs> These people be editing their pictures to make it look perfect. Being perfect isn't real. Comparison is a thief of joy. If you keep comparing yourself to these, you know, famous people, you're not going to be happy. <laughs> you're not going to be happy. Like I said, where's your do-rag? I, oh, wow. Uh, well, no do-rag analogy for today. <laughs> Comparison is a thief of joy. You keep comparing yourself, and you're not going to be happy with yourself. Simple. 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 And another thing that, is, that you know, social media really, you know, <laughs> traps you, there's a lot of sips. Simps. But I, I feel like... You know, people just call people simps just because they actually have feelings for, you know, a girl or this or that. But that's not a simp. <laughs> I think a simp truly is someone who's on social media or, you know, this mostly happens on Twitch. You know, with these damn Twitch thoughts, which I should make a video about because it's getting, it's getting ridiculous. <laughs> Basically, you go on Instagram, you see these girls, oh my god, she's so beautiful. Oh, I want to marry her. I'm like, well, you're going to marry someone that you've never met in real life. 
you know nothing about and they're probably made out of plastic plastic it promotes a lot of violence <laughs> like and just negativity all around and that's just not a good vibe especially in the news the news does this a lot which i'll go in depth on in another video it's just a lot of violence shout out nate robinson You know, we got people getting knocked out, people getting robbed. There was, there, there was a video about, like, a, you know, an old lady getting, like, punched in the face, bro. <laughs> it had, like, over, like, a million likes or something like that. Now, you know me, I like that. I liked it. But that's the bad part about it. It's making you be okay with violence. Honestly, I'm starting to think that some of y'all, if y'all saw a grandma get punched in the face out in the streets, y'all would pull out your phone to record. <laughs> it's getting to the point where it's like that. And I'm not saying I'm a saint or anything. Cause I like that. <laughs> Something needs to change. Something needs to, someone needs to change, but it's, I can't say delete it. You know, if you're getting your bag on, you know, social media, I understand that. Like me, if you're just constantly scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling to the point where you don't even know where you are, you don't know what time of the day it is, it's getting out of hand. I don't know. Think about all the time you spend on Instagram or any social media, right? All that time you could have spent on working on yourself. Think about how great you could have been. Not saying you can't be great, but think about it. Out of all that time you open your phone and scroll and scroll, think about what you could be doing, building yourself. Basically, the main theme of this video point is comparison is the thief of joy, right? You compare yourself to someone else, you're never gonna be happy. You're never gonna be happy. I also feel like, Instagram, like, social media doesn't allow you to be yourself. It keeps you in a bubble where you have to do certain things in that bubble. It's getting out of hand. If you made it to the end of the video, I thank you so much. I'm, I'm just, yay! You know, um, like, comment, sub. Helps me grow in the algorithm. I would suck on another water bottle, but, um, that's kind of gay. And I would swing that way. So... Peace.